friends i am professor shashikant lamkane working as a assistant professor in nb navle sinhagar college of engineering solapur i am having 11 years of teaching experience and 1.5 years of industrial experience i have completed my post graduation in mechanical design engineering so in this video i am going to focus on unit number 4 of the subject kinematics and theory of machines and the name of unit is a break so these are the contents of this unit so first one is a classification of break so under the classification of break we are going to focus on mechanical break and these are the types of mechanical break that is a band break band and block break internal and external shoe break along with this we are going to study the design consideration of brake so before moving to actual content we are going to see the introduction of brake a brake is device by means of which artificial frictional resistance is applied to a moving machine member in order to retard or stop the motion of machine it means that brake is a device which is used to retard or stop the motion of moving machine member by application of artificial frictional resistance it absorbs the kinetic energy or potential energy and this absorbed energy is dissipated in the form of heat in the atmosphere we are going to see the construction of one of the uh, type of a brake that is internal expanding shoe brake so when we are going to apply the force then the shoe this is one shoe and this is another one on the shoe there is a friction lining or we can call it as a brake lining so after application of force the shoe are going to expand and come in contact with the brake drum and brake drum is a rotating element so after contacting of the friction lining and brake drum so there is a absorption of kinetic energy and the motion of or a rotation of the brake drum is going to retard or stop now we are going to focusing on the friction lining or brake lining material so after this we are going to see the different characteristics of brake lining material so first characteristics is it should have high coefficient of friction then second one it should have low wear rate third one it should have high heat resistance then it should have high heat dissipation capacity then it should have adequate mechanical strength and last one is it should not be affected by moisture and oil so after this we are going to see the different material of brake lining along with the brake shoe so cast iron brake lining on the cast iron brake shoe so these are the two material first one is of brake lining and second one is of brake shoe then similarly bronze on cast iron steel on cast iron wood on cast iron fiber on metal cork on metal leather on metal wire asbestos on metal asbestos block on metal asbestos on metal and metal on cast iron so these are the some of the friction material friction lining material after this we are going to start with the actual content of this unit that is types of brake so there are main three types of brakes so first one is a hydraulic brake second one is a electric brake and third one is a mechanical brake so since we are more concerned with only the mechanical brake so therefore we are going to discussing 
the mechanical brakes in details in the further video.